At the brink. That's the theme? Shouldn't it be on the brink? At the brink, on the brink. Is there a difference? Worry about that later. Get started. Title screen. What'll I call it? Doesn't matter. Okay, come up with some ideas. At the brink. What does that mean? Google. On the verge of doing something or something happening. Like, I'm at the brink of starting a game. I need an of something. At the brink of death. A story about someone on life support and their regrets played out in conversations with visitors. Can people on life support talk? Don't they have that tube thing in their mouth? <clears throat> Maybe a terminal illness then. Ugh, this is depressing me before I've made it. At the brink of tears. A capable young woman moves to London to enter the world of work. Bright and optimistic, she soon finds frustration as male colleagues undermine, harass and objectify her. Not sure how this is a game. Maybe some kind of bottling emotions. Let's put it in the maybe pile. At the brink of extinction. Following a comet strike on the Earth, a family of dinosaurs struggle to adapt to the new world. Ugh, scrap that. It reminds me of that awful Disney film. At the brink of madness. Everyone's gonna do that. Extra points if it's Lovecraftian. Next. At the brink of survival. There's lots of survival games, so this has promise. No zombies, though. A downed helicopter pilot in enemy territory must survive with limited resources while soldiers search for him. Hmm. Unless I can narrow it down, it's a bit too ambitious for a three-day game jam. At the brink of destruction, the world's major powers declare nuclear war on each other. I loved that Amiga game. I wonder if I still have it. There was no real narrative, though. Ugh, it's not really suitable for this jam. At the brink of starvation, a shipwrecked man on a desert island with no resources must wait for rescue. A game about waiting. That'll be fun. At the brink of collapse, like the environment, that's actually quite pertinent. Those climate change protests were going on today. I was stuck in traffic, ironically creating more CO2 emissions. Let's explore this one. The environment is on the verge of collapse. Scientists have told us so for a long time now. People deny it, though. I don't think any scientists do. Not reputable ones, anyway. Who'd be the protagonist? A protester on their bike? Uh, an oil baron? Mother Nature? Who needs to change? Mother Nature won't change. Does that mean she's the antagonist? We need to change to prevent Mother Nature from destroying us. Destroying us as a reaction to our folly. Why are we, as a species, moving forward with our own destruction? Uh, greed? Denial, stupidity, a combination of those things. And why are we those things? I've got it. I need to start at the beginning. We didn't one day decide to destroy the environment. Bit by bit, we bent Mother Nature to our will. We got here gradually. Now, we're carrying on like always because that was what worked in the past. That's what was rewarding. So, we're stuck in this pattern of behaviour. How do we collectively realise that and make the change? To make this game, I just need to unpack the entire human condition. This game needs to be about everything. First, title screen. I'll put a placeholder title for now. We first begin in caveman days. That's not the proper term. Make a note to research the setting later. They are discovering fire for the first time, enabling them to overcome the cold and keep predators at bay. Wait, what the hell am I doing? I've only got two and a half days left and I'm trying to get the whole of human history into a game. Think, narrow it down. One person, and what they can do on the individual level. Like those protesters, they were doing their bit. You even admired them as you sat in your car creating more emissions. You weren't going anywhere. You could have turned your engine off. Okay, title screen. Car game placeholder. You're trying to get to the Bristol Hippodrome to watch the Lion King. An accident on the M4 meant you were already running behind, but now you're in heavy traffic. Climate change protesters are bringing the city centre to a standstill. You need to control your emissions as you slowly move forward. Every time you stop, switch off the engine.
You watched Lion King. It was great, but you're aware that Ink Jam 2019 has already started. You wonder what the theme is. At the brink. How is that a theme? It's more like a writing prompt. I'll have to drive back to Exeter now anyway. I'll use that time to come up with some ideas. Then I'll get some sleep and start in the morning. It's late. I'll need coffee. I'll drive into the cups to collect the precious elixir of alertness. Ah, oh, these are paper cups. I don't know why they can't be recycled, but this game is about the environment. Okay, whatever. Actual mugs of coffee will do. Sleep. Start the game in the morning. I guess we're just going to think about game ideas and this theme. Who starts a game jam at night? That's so cruel. They know we won't be able to sleep. All that creative energy is at a maximum right now. Paul even put in the email. Don't forget to get some sleep. That arsehole knew exactly what he was doing. At the brink of environmental collapse. That's my game. That's the theme. But what's the story? This is a narrative game jam after all. I'll look at other environmental stories and see if they can give me some ideas. The clash of civilization and nature. The humans exploit the resources of Mother Nature. Mother Nature fights back. The Boshi decides to destroy the forest. She goes on a hunting expedition to kill the forest spirit. When it's decapitated, ooze comes out, destroying everything it touches. Mother Nature's revenge for humankind's greed. We come to another planet to mine for minerals, but there's a civilization that lives in harmony with nature opposing us. Jake becomes an avatar living among them, like some kind of hearts and minds mission. Jake learns that there is another way of living that doesn't have to be destructive and unsustainable, and that's worth protecting. A penguin named Mumble is born. Due to an accident, he can't do the mating call of penguins, but he can tap dance. Ridiculed by his elders, the conventional wisdom, he feels isolated and eventually ends up in captivity. Mumble becomes popular with his dancing and is set free with a tracking device. Humans come to his home and realise their actions have caused harm to the penguins and change their ways. We learn that new and different voices need to be listened to if we are going to save the future. What am I doing? It's night time already and you've just been going down these rabbit holes. You even watched Happy Feet for the first time so you'd have something to write all because you didn't want two Ghibli films in the options, but that would have been fine. I don't know if I can finish this. It's okay, no one will notice if you don't submit anything. Just put a heroic message on Discord about how the scope got out of control. You learn so much and I'm looking forward to next year. Go to sleep. We'll have ice cream tomorrow. Feed me. Ugh, who's doing that? Get in the car. You're John Ingold. No, I'm his next form, Zen John Ingold. You don't sound like him. Yeah, well that's because you're too shy to ask him to voice himself. Instead, you ask Joe. Good old, dependable Joe. He'll, he'll come through for you. Even though it's, it's the weekend and he's, he's probably got better things to be doing. But, uh, no, I'm, I'm sure he won't mind. Nice one. At least it's not a newsreader. Oh yeah, thank goodness. Oh no, no, you ask him to do that as well later. Why am I here, Zen John Ingold? <clears throat> you need help. My game, Ink Jam. I don't know what to do. You've got to save me. Tell me about your game. It's about the environment and how it's on the brink of collapse and, well, I don't really know how to make that into a game. Wrong. That was two choices. Yes and no. The player won't like that. Don't you agree? Tell me why. because they feel there's a right or wrong answer, and it's not about choosing your story, but passing a quiz. Nice try, but that was just yes, no, and no but yes. Why do you want to make a game about the environment? Because it's important, it's precious, and it's relevant. But where's the game in all that? I have some goofy prototypes. I did a lot of research, but it's a mess, and I'm running out of time. Just dazzle them in the end. Finish strong, and the player will love it. And don't be afraid to make stuff up. After all, it's supposed to be entertaining. You're just quoting Adaptation with Nicolas Cage! That's the kind of game you wanted to make in the first place, wasn't it? 
I've got a title screen in a jam. Game starts when Ink Jam starts. We see the theme at the brink. Cut to brainstorming session. Imagine prototypes. Our game developer is anxious to get started, but we've got the long midnight drive back to Devon. Reports of a giant tentacle monster are coming out of Exeter this evening. The beast is beached over the whole of Exmouth, and its tentacles are striking out at Exeter and nearby villages. Mass casualties are expected. Experts are calling this the coming of Cthulhu. Some speculating the pollution of the seas has caused him to act and seek revenge on us all. The government warns against all unnecessary travel and to remain inside your homes. But in this newsreader's humble opinion, run. Get away from Cthulhu as fast as you can.